Hello athletes, families, friends, and coaches. We want to welcome you to the Northeast Regional Championship hosted by the World Ninja League. At our Regional Championship event, athletes will be competing in two events, a float course and a challenge course. After all athletes have run their flow course, they will start to run their second course utilizing our challenge course format. The challenge course format allows athletes to fail and retry obstacles. Athletes will be given two retries throughout the duration of their run. However, only one retry can be used per obstacle. If an athlete fails an obstacle and has the ability to retry it, the course, um, the course will be reset and the athlete may return to the starting platform. Once the obstacle is reset, the ref will start the Ninja Works timer and the countdown for the uh, athlete will begin uh, after that. The winner of the challenge course will be the athlete that made it the furthest, the fastest. We will now begin to go through our walkthrough with our wonderful course uh, tester here, Alex Begali. Um, this is going to be for the challenge course. So we will be uh, introducing the course by starting by introducing the name of the obstacle and then we will show a demonstration of how the obstacle is done. We will state whether it is a hands or feet obstacle or both. Um, remember that everything um, that is not mentioned in the course is going to be assumed out of play and that anything that we said is in play can be utilized. Um, for this course, we will have no platforms that are skippable due to our close proximity rule. And additionally, remember uh, that it is the athlete's responsibility to engage the buzzer. The World Ninja League and Ninja Works recommend a firm press of the buzzer to ensure that it has been hit. Um, and then with that being said, after you have hit the buzzer, our awesome Ninja Works lights, buzzers, and smoke will sound, signifying a successful press of the buzzer and an amazing full course clear. Um, we want to thank you so much first for watching this, and if you have any questions about our course, um, you can ask any of our World Ninja League staff on site, and we can help answer those uh, before your course run. Best of luck to everybody. So let's start here with our first obstacle. We have our, um, I'm calling it a vault run slash um, balance area. So you have your start platform, which uh, Alex is starting on that red platform. You'll be able to utilize the black parts of these balance trainers. You'll be able to utilize this uh, green mat and then also the rest of this balance. And then you will be landing on this red platform here. This is a start and stop platform. This is um, a hands and feet obstacle, perfectly fine to use it however you need. Um, just remember when you get to this, you should stay on it as it is at start stop platform and you don't want to be disqualified for your next obstacle. So please stay on this platform. Alex, demonstration please. <clears throat> And complete, well done. Moving on to our second obstacle it is going to be our pole graspers. You will be able to start on this red start platform here. You will be able to then use the uh, metal poles that are uh, dropped down here. And at the end, there is this red ring that is also in play for you to use. And the landing platform is going to be this red platform here. This is just a finished platform, so it is able to be overshot if needed. Incidental contact on this pull pad is perfectly fine, um, so don't worry about it. You can use this pull pad if you need and get yourself to that platform. So, Alex, your demonstration, please. disengage that ring and pass the plane, he has completed that obstacle. We're going to make our way over this direction to where we have this green star platform. So Alex, make it right here. Thank you. All right. This is going to move into our captain's wheel. So on this, again, green platform is our star platform. We will then be able to utilize the blue parts of the captain's wheel and their finished platform is going to be this uh, green and black platform here. It is also the start platform for your next obstacle, so please do not overshoot. 
One more comment about this obstacle. Depending on your age division, you will be able to utilize different parts of the captain's wheel. So um, remember, there'll be some that will be using just the outside pegs, and then there'll be some divisions that will be able to utilize the inside part of the obstacle. Demonstration, please, Alex. This is, sorry, just a hands obstacle. Hands over. Well done, and it's complete for that obstacle. All right, moving on to our next obstacle is going to be a pipe slider. So for here, you will have the green start platform as the beginning. You will be able to then utilize <coughs> this slide bar to reset here to the front. You will then slide on down, and these two uh, steps here are going to be your finished platform, which you will then shoot off and come forward if you want. It is just a finished platform, so you are able to overshoot that platform. Demonstration, please, Alex. This pole pad is perfectly fine to be in play if you need to help catch yourself. Um, and just for future reference, the finished platform here will be adjusted for distance uh, depending on the age group. Um, <clears throat> after that, you will work your way over to this red start platform here. <clears throat> you will then go through our full throttle obstacle. You will be able to utilize that start platform, the um, tops of the full throttle obstacle, and you will then land on this red platform here to complete the obstacle. This is a feet only obstacle, and this is also a start finish platform, so make sure you do not overshoot the platform. Demonstration Alex. Well done. Um, that first pull pad in the beginning there, if you touch it, incidental contact, perfectly fine, right? Don't worry about it. Just want to make sure everyone knows um, that that is incidental. Great. All right, coming on to our next obstacle, it's going to be a trapeze lache. So you have the red stock platform here. You'll be able to utilize this um, trapeze bar. And then for some divisions, you are going to have rings or some type of hold here, depending on your age division. And then also up there, you can see that fun ax. Some age divisions are going to have an up for grabs that we will demonstrate on site during your age division if you have that obstacle. Um, so just wanna put that out there. And then your finished platform will be this red platform out here. Um, this is a hands-only obstacle. And Alex, demonstration, please. Moving on to our next obstacle. <clears throat> this is going to be uh, a lily pad run. So you have uh, your start platform here. You'll be able to utilize the lily pads and the small steps that are up here on the ground. Um, and you will then land on this finished platform here. This is a feet only obstacle. You'll make your way this way here. Out we're going to the cliffhanger. There you go. Thank you. Glad you need that. <laughs> All right, moving on to our next obstacle is going to be the cliffhanger. Um, depending on the age group, you will have different uh, obstacles that are in this area here. Um, some age groups will receive T ledges. Um, others will have rings and possibly some other holes there. Again, be specified. Um, for your age group the day of your competition. So you will be able to make your way through this area here. Um, utilizing the cliffs, you'll be able to traverse 
cross onto this cliff side. Anything on here is in play um, to work your way both sides across and land on this red platform here. This is a hands-only obstacle. Out. That is a finished platform only, so if for some reason you hit it and overshoot past it, perfectly fine, right? But just make sure you do finish by crossing that plane to complete that obstacle. All right, uh, we're going to come on down over here to this blue star platform. This is going to be our next obstacle, is going to be our um, maker steps. And you will be able to start on the blue platform, utilize the steps going up, on the way over here, we have these T-bars that are hanging. You'll be able to utilize the T-bars and land on this green platform here. This is going to be a hands-only obstacle. Demonstration out. This is also a finished platform only, so make sure that you uh, land on it and pass the plane. Um, you can overshoot it, that is perfectly fine. Moving on to our next obstacle, is going to be our deja vu. We are going to give two, des uh, two demonstrations on this obstacle just to show um, the two variations. Um, for some divisions, you will start on this red platform you'll be able to utilize the bar that is in the cradles here, and you will then land on this pink platform. So I'm gonna have Alex demonstrate that. And that would be a clear. <clears throat> and next demonstration. Is going to be a deja vu still, but next. <clears throat> This platform will be removed. And the next other age groups will have to utilize the two sets of cradles, some type of um, <clears throat> hold here, depending on your division, and you will land on this red platform. This is going to be a hands only option. Alex? and then finish on this finished platform here. We can also give another demonstration on site. Alex has been an absolute sport for us and he's been crushing all of it. So please give him a little bit of grace. Um, he is absolutely crushing it. So but we can re-demonstrate that if needed on site, depending on the age group uh, for what um, hold will be there. There we go. Well done. See, just like that. This is, though, a uh, start and finish platform, so please do not overshoot it because it will be the start platform for your next obstacle. So, yes, please land and stay on the red platform here. All right. Uh, moving on to our next obstacle is going to be uh, cannonballs. You will have different size cannonballs depending on your age or division, so please be prepared for any size uh, cannonballs for your division. All right, you will start on the red platform, utilize cannonballs. Please remember that this um, is out of play. If you're grabbing up here, please don't. The referee will give you a warning. Please don't use it to move forward. We're trying to stay just on the actual part of the hold. And this is going to be your finished platform. It is also just a finished platform, so you can overshoot it. Um, and just make sure you pass that front plane. And uh, this is a hands-only obstacle. Alex? <clears throat> All right, and clear. 
We're going to make our way over here, <clears throat> however way you want to, because we can do that. And this is going to be the start platform for our next obstacle, which is going to be a rope to cat back. <clears throat> On this obstacle, you'll be able to utilize the red start platform here. You'll be able to utilize this rope and any of these bars that you choose um, to then jump and land on this finished platform here. This is going to be a hands and feet obstacle. Um, and I think that should be it. Alex? And clear. All right, we're gonna make our way to the last bay of obstacles. All right, this is going to be a buoy lane for some, and it'll be uh, some assorted dollar obstacles for different age divisions. Again, when it comes to your um, age division, you may have different um, holes in this area. Your start platform is going to be this purple mat here. You will be able to utilize the obstacles to get across. Please remember, eye bolts are out of play, hardware is out of play. You are just utilizing the holds portion of the obstacle. You will make your way through the obstacles and land on this green platform here, which is your finish platform. It is also the start platform for your next obstacle, so please do not overshoot. Make sure you cross that for the plane. And um, this is a hands-only obstacle. Alex? And clear. All right, time to take it home with our last obstacle of the challenge course. Again, this is your start platform for this obstacle. And then you will be able to utilize the Angry Bird obstacle to make your way through and land on that red finished platform. For this obstacle, depending on your age division, you will have um, possibility of having some type of hold here at the end. Um, and we will say that again for your age division when it comes that time. This is a hands-only obstacle. After you have cleared and finished this obstacle here, you will continue to make your way over here to hit the buzzer to finish your run. Uh, again, like I said, I believe this is hands-only. Alex? Well done. Thanks. Awesome job, Alex. So that is the completion of our challenge course for the regional championship this weekend. Um, we are super excited to have everyone come and try out our courses, and we hope to see you soon. Have a good one.